Hey guys, I know that it's been a while since I've done a PhD related video. And so while I've talked about how to apply to a PhD program, I haven't really talked about what PhD programs are looking for and how to make yourself the best applicant. So maybe I'll do that in a different video. If you are interested in hearing about that, please do let me know down below in the comments. But as the school year is about to start, I'm sure that there are a bunch of people who are entering their last year of college who might be interested in PhD programs and are wondering whether or not they should apply immediately after college or while they're still in college or whether they should wait and get their PhD later on down the road. So I am here with some advice, some pros and cons of going into a PhD program straight out of college. So first of all, my story, I decided to apply to a PhD program when I was a senior in college simply because someone told me I should. I didn't really know what else it was that I wanted to do with my life, to be honest. It just seemed like a natural progression. I had been doing a lot of writing, I'd been doing a lot of researching, and I was writing a senior thesis that year. So it kind of just like made sense as a thing to do, and I kind of applied as a first option, and then if I didn't get in, I guess I would have just applied to jobs. But somehow, some way, I did get in. So I graduated college at 21, and thus I started my PhD program at 21. So yes, super, super young. I didn't know what was going on with my whole life, but here I was in grad school, and it has its benefits, and it definitely, definitely has its <laughs> not so cool things about going to grad school immediately after college. And so if you can't already tell by my kind of mood, I do lean towards at least taking a little bit of time between college and graduate school, and I'll explain why. First of all, let's start with the pros of going to graduate school immediately after college. Number one, biggest pro, because you are fresh out of college, you're used to the studying mentality. I've heard from some people that it's hard to transition from working a full-time job to like the studying and the writing papers life, but because you would have just come out of college, you really should be able to transition smoothly in terms of being able to balance workload, knowing that papers are due, theoretically. Another pro of going to graduate school immediately after college is that you are young enough to afford to be broke. I feel like nobody told me going into graduate school, and I was told a lot of things, but nobody told me, nobody, and I'm mad at them all, that graduate school is really signing up for poverty. So although most PhD programs are funded, honestly, the most funding and stipend you're gonna get is about like $35,000, and while that is a great livable wage, for people across the country. But if you're thinking about going to grad school in a major city like New York or Boston or San Francisco, that's like not as much money as your peers might be making straight out of college. So I think that one of the things that helps me being so young in my program is that I was comfortable not really having a lot of money because I didn't really have money in college anyway. So it was just going from like being semi-broke to being a little bit more broke except I have to pay rent by myself instead of my parents paying room and board and tuition. So that's a really big advantage that you might have over someone who is say 35 and has been working a five or six figure job and then has to learn how to live on bologna and peanut butter. Just saying. And the third real benefit of going into graduate school immediately after college is that when you finish, you're so young and so fresh. Like uh, graduate school is from a four to eight, nine, ten year program. And if you start young, you finish young. And that's probably the best thing that I'm excited about when I finish. I will have my PhD, God willing, by the time I'm 28. So I will have already reached a level of whether you want to consider academic success or professional success, at least in terms of degrees, before I'm 30. So those are pretty much the pros of going to graduate school immediately after college. Now, for the cons of going to graduate school immediately after college, whew, well one big issue is because most graduate school students, at least in my program and department, tend to be in their later 20s and higher. It might be difficult for you to kind of like make friends at first, I was blessed with a really awesome cohort of ladies, but they're all about six to seven years older than I am, and so we had different priorities when we first started. I was trying to hang out in New York City and kick it and go to happy hour and go to like here and here and here and here, 
and they had husbands to go home to. So that's something to keep in mind. Now what I did to kind of get over that is I made friends with a lot of master's students. Master's students tend to be a little bit younger than PhD students, so I was able to make friends that way. Now another thing to consider is something that I learned was called imposter syndrome. And I really struggled my first and second years of graduate school because I would come to class, I would have supposed to have read an entire book by class time and I wouldn't have even been able to get through the introduction and the conclusion and I really struggled with feeling like I was inadequate, I was unable to learn as much, read as much, write as much and as well as my fellow classmates especially because a lot of them had master's degrees, again they were older so when you go into graduate school fresh out of college it is possible and actually quite likely that you will have a lack of confidence and graduate school PhD programs are so tough. You kind of need to be a little arrogant and think that you are like smarter than anyone in order to do what it is that you need to do in order to get through the program. So I think that it's more likely for younger students, especially those coming fresh out of college, to kind of struggle with feelings of insecurity, inadequacy, and just feeling like you don't belong there. At least I did. That was my experience when I was fresh and new in my program, and I don't care. And the last potentially negative thing about going into a PhD program straight out of college is, I mean, it goes hand in hand with the benefit of being done quickly. You are potentially missing out on a lot of that young 20s like fun that your friends and peers might be having. So, I mean, I've been able to try to have a school life balance in that I blog, I travel, I maintain my social relationships, but I've seen people who kind of get so caught up in school, all they've been doing their entire 20s is studying and reading and being in the lab, and that's really not something that I would recommend. Um, so I do think that if you are gonna go into a PhD program straight out of college, be very mindful about not missing out on the rest of your life, taking time out to do things that are fun. So those are my pros and cons for going into a PhD program straight out of college. As I said earlier in the video, I would personally recommend taking one to two years off in between college and a PhD program simply to build savings. Honestly, that's really the biggest thing. So having a little bit of money saved will definitely help make your transition as a recent college graduate into a PhD student a lot more smooth and seamless. And I also think it's helpful to get a little bit of work experience under your belt just so you can continue to have a wide and broad perspective while you're in school. It can be easy to kind of get bogged down into read, write, publish, apply for grants, run this experiment, do this, present at this conference, publish this paper, et cetera, et cetera, and not kind of like remember that there's a whole world outside of whatever it is that you're studying. So having a little bit of work experience might help ground you in that a little bit. Now, if you happen to go into a PhD program straight out of college, or if you know someone who did, and they have advice that they wanna to add to this video, please do leave a comment down below. If you have other questions about going straight into a PhD program or PhD programs in general, feel free to leave those as a comment as well. Thanks guys for watching and hope you check out the rest of my PhD related videos. Bye.